Well, good afternoon to everybody out there. How are you guys doing today? It is uh, January 2nd, 2023, and this is the calm before the storm. I just want to show you guys something cool because I'm a big MMA fan, did MMA for a, f a few years, took jujitsu for many, many years, and I suck, but I try. But anyway, we have a fan on the channel who is one of the Hall of Famer ring announcers, and he left a little message for me to share with all of you. His name is Carlos Kramer, the Roaring Lion. I hope you guys enjoy it. Just give it a chance, it's, he's awesome. Hey, I just wanted to uh, give a quick shout out to my buddy, and uh, he has been amazing. Him and his beautiful wife run Big Bear Weather and more, and man, they've gone viral for several reasons, but most of all because they keep everybody informed. They keep everybody up to date on current events, and when you own in Big Bear like I do, and uh, plan my family's uh, coming and going, the weather is crucial to know. And I tell you what, he is up to date, like up to the minute. It's really incredible. Uh, love you, Nick. You are the man. Big bear weather and more, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is subscribe. I have one question for you and one question only. Are you ready? How cool is that? Did you guys like that? How cool is that? Someone of that stature likes this channel, watches, calls me every time he comes up here. He's got the most beautiful vacation home right on the lake. Just spectacular. But uh, yeah, so anyway, calm before the storm. Thanks for enjoying that. And uh, yeah, are you ready? Let's do this. We got the biggest storm of the season coming through tomorrow. And it's not that big of a deal, but it's the biggest storm of the season. And by the way, this next time lapse, you guys, watch it because it's going to be a good one. There's actually going to be snow. So right now we're just, uh, we're doing the calm before the storm on the other side of town today, just to show you guys what it looks like over here, because this is where we're going to be doing the aftermath as part of the aftermath video as well. And we are going to hit Sugarloaf during the storm even though it's very dangerous to drive up Maple. But yeah, guys, this is gonna be the biggest snowfall of the season. Um, again, that's not saying much. It's, I mean, best case scenario, I think we'll get a couple inches of snow. But you know, it's it makes me very happy. And I know it makes a lot of you happy. And especially those of you who spent a lot of money on your Icon passes. I know it's getting to that scary point when you spent over a thousand dollars for your season pass um so i'm really hoping for all of your sake that we do get absolutely obliterated in during this winter time and don't forget everybody winter just started like 10 or 11 days ago so we still have the whole winter ahead of us we've just been getting spoiled the past few years in having early snowstorms but don't forget our massive snowstorms this last season weren't till like late January, early February. So just keep, keep, keep the hope alive, folks, because we desperately need it. We desperately need it. Straight ahead, the, the tallest peak there is called Sugarloaf. There's a bunch of snow up top there. And uh, yeah. So right now we're in a, a little town called Irwin Lake. Very peaceful neighborhood. Um, if you want to stay away from the whole tourism rush and bustle and stuff like like that this is where you want to find an airbnb out here in Irwin lake or even baldwin lake baldwin's just as nice just in a completely different way because there's no trees out there for the most part it, it just feels like you're in the desert when you're in baldwin lake and we're going to be driving through baldwin lake so i can show you all for this calm before the storm and again, I can't stress it enough. I Look, I believe 100% this is going to be the biggest storm we've seen so far. If it's not, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do a giveaway for uh, for uh, one of these uh, shirts. So let's, uh, you know, hopefully for you guys, it doesn't snow much. But 
hopefully for me, it does. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing giveaways anyway, you guy. You guy. You guys, as I said, we've got a, we've got an Airbnb property that we are going to be putting up for you guys for a few nights of free stay plus some merchandise to go along with it. So when you go into the Airbnb on on the living room table, you'll have some free merch there too. So it'll be a win-win situation. I don't know exactly what merch we're, we are gonna put in there for you guys, but I wanted it to be something awesome. You know, it's all awesome stuff, but what I mean by awesome is like the jacket or the hoodie or like something like that. But I'm sure anything would be awesome for you guys, but we really do want to take care of you guys. You guys have made this channel what it is today. I just, I can't believe we're almost at 22,000 subscribers on this channel. It's just, it's crazy to me. But I think it's all because of my consistency and my persistence to always do this. I will never miss a single storm, you guys, ever. And I love showing you guys this whole town. We're on Highway 38 right now, okay? So Highway 38 is one way in and out of town. If you turn around and go back the other way, it'll take you all the way down to uh, Mentone. And if you uh, turn left at the bottom on Bryant Street, you will head into Yukaipa. So this takes you down the mountain if you go the opposite direction. And we're gonna be driving through Baldwin in just a moment. We're gonna take one of the side streets to get to Baldwin and instead of uh, going all the way down to the end. I just want to show you guys some of the beautiful, beautiful prairies and fields that a lot of you never get to see because you'll never be going down here. So yeah, let's enjoy this calm before the storm. And uh, it should be a peaceful, beautiful video. And again, the snow is supposed to start flying at about 6 in the morning, so of course I'll be out there. We'll probably have the first upload around 7 or 7.30 because that's how long it takes, but I will be up to get the videos going. And we're probably going to end up doing two different videos during the storm tomorrow. And then after the storm, of course, we'll be doing the aftermath video on Thursday. And then the time lapse on Friday. And I know some of you have been asking me about the, the hotel video where we stayed a couple weeks ago. And that one will be eventually posted here. Maybe if we don't get any more storms after this next weekend storm, um, then I'll, I'll, I'll post that. I just don't like to post those um, uh, until there's just no other snow, just to keep a nice flow going. But I don't just make videos just to make videos. I've been doing it this exact same way for a long time. There'll be a week or more at a time that you won't see anything from me. It's all contingent on Mother Nature showing me a lot of love. The more love she shows, the more videos I make. All right. Don't forget to get your awesome merchandise. Go to bigbearweatherandmore.com. You guys will get some pretty cool stuff. And also, if you want to get your skis or snowboards waxed for free, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. You want to go to Get Boards. It's a great, great spot. Owner Tony is super cool. You just got to mention the channel or me personally, and they will wax them up for free. And I'm sure if, if you buy anything there or get rentals, they'll take care of you even better also. And they are very inexpensive compared to the mountain. When you go to Bear or Snow Summit or Snow Valley and rent, it's going to be a lot more. This place, you'll get the best equipment for a much better price. And uh, as I said, they sell the most amazing top of the line stuff too. So you'll be in wonderful hands. I would never refer you guys to anyone who I didn't feel comfortable about. And I like the nicer things. So yeah, but anyway, this is where we're at. And this is one of my favorite little spots to come chill and eat a meal and just look out over this beautiful uh, equestrian area. It's so beautiful. This field is so peaceful. Yeah, so give me a second. Then I just want to show you guys the back of this shirt, if, if you can see it. I don't know if it's too, too high for you, but check that out. 
That's me riding a bear, you guys, as a cartoon. Can you believe that? I'm a dang cartoon here. Hopefully it came out okay. I really do hope so. Probably didn't. Probably shot it way too high up on the shirt so you didn't get the whole thing, but hey. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to hook y'all up. All right, well, this was peaceful. As I said, this is where I like to come sit down and just be at peace. Usually there's no cars here. So it really is just a really quiet place. But now we're going to finish off the calm before the storm going through a town called Baldwin Lake. As I said, this is another great place for you guys to try and find an Airbnb if you want peace and quiet. But keep in mind, these parts of Big Bear don't get nearly as much snow. There's some donkeys out there right now, too. Hey donkeys, how you doing? This side of town doesn't get hardly any snow, which is really weird because it's only an eight mile difference from the Big Bear Dam to, uh, it's probably about a six and a half mile difference from the dam to right here, but we're gonna keep on going further to the complete opposite side. We're going to be going to Highway 18 right as you're about to start going down the backside. And again, this is a very serene, peaceful area. For Airbnbs, you guys, it's fantastic. For me, I could never do it when I come up and visit solely because you guys know how much I, I, I love the deep snow. So it, it would, you know, it'd be hard for me over here. If it gets like two, two or three inches of snow, you'll have a foot or more at the dam every time. It's just incredible. So as I tell you guys always, the closer to the Big Bear Dam you are, basically from in between the village and the Big Bear Dam, that's gonna be your best bet for your snowiest locations. Okay, so right now we're on East Big Bear Boulevard. Uh, it's it's weird weird how these streets work if we make a left and go straight through that stop sign we're on big bear boulevard right now we're turning right going on to shea road s-h-a-y and this takes you into baldwin equestrian stuff out here as well that's something we are going to do on a video sometime this summer is do some horseback riding for you all when I was younger I used to do a lot of horseback riding in Newport Beach yes there is horseback in Newport Beach kind of over by John Wayne Airport and the, and the executive golf course there's a huge equestrian building over there. Huge. But yeah, any questions you have about anything to do up here, if I don't know the answer right off the bat, I promise you I will I will go find it for you. Because I I I mean guys, I don't get anything for it for doing all this stuff for you guys. What I do get is a peaceful heart knowing that you guys are going to come up here and visit and spend money and allow folks like me to keep on living here because without you guys, none of us get to live here unless it's some of the very few extremely wealthy people who live off of a huge retirement. Because up here, you know, 95% of the people up here have to work. I'm one of them. And uh, the only jobs that, that we have that can pay our bills year round is through tourism, that's it. Without the tourism, guys, we've 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 got nothing up here. So I'm always very thankful for you, like extremely thankful for you. I I, I don't even know how to express it to you guys. Like I am so thankful for you. <laughs> but yeah. Baldwin Lake over there. This whole area is 
Baldwin Lake. When there's snow over there, it's beautiful. And this is a free sledding area on my free sledding videos. You can't see it through the crud on my window, so I'll roll it down. But when there's snow, that's one of the free, free sledding areas. I don't know if I have that particular spot on the free sledding areas. I know I have four on that one video, but if I don't have that one there, let me know so I can show you guys. It is a bit of a drive because you got to come all the way out here to Baldwin, but it's worth it. This whole town is beautiful, and if you have the confidence to drive around during some wintry conditions, um, th this is a very beautiful place to check out. Gosh, I'd love one of these houses right here on Baldwin Lake. That would be just incredible. But again, hardly any snow falls over here. I mean, I've seen discrepancies where there have been four or five inches here and over two feet at the dam. And I have it on video, you guys. So I'm, I'm not just saying it, like it's the absolute truth. And right here in this very spot, there was a Super Bowl commercial filmed while I was living here um, about someone getting stuck and just kind people driving by. And I, I think it was helping them or maybe they weren't being helped. And it was just a funny commercial. It was a, a beer commercial, I believe. But uh, yeah. When I was driving through here to do Calm Before the Storms and other stuff like that, you'd see the whole crew. And I mean, it was a big crew. Trucks everywhere and uh, actors everywhere. Well, not actors, producers and this and that. And so right after that Super Bowl, I decided to go recreate the commercial, just being a dork, and I did. And a lot of people liked it. <laughs> such a beautiful place. middle of your screen that mountain straight ahead at the very bottom on the left hand side that's about where the dam is and yeah this is Baldwin Lake I know it's dry out there right now but uh, because of last year's snow we had a big lake here on this side of town that I had never seen it last for that long. Every year, every winter, you will get a, a lake over here and it's always pretty good size, but this last year it was huge. I mean, just a giant lake and it's, it's stuck around for a long time. As a matter of fact, not all the water is completely gone yet, but most of the lake's coverage is, is dry now. But again, wouldn't you guys love finding an Airbnb property out here? It's just so quiet. It's colder out here though. Colder with less snow and very windy. This part of town is known for its wind. Then you got houses way up here on the hill. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a, a peaceful spot, but for my regular job, it's just too far away from everything. Technically, it's not that far when you're referring to it in miles, but for me, all the driving that I do, it would be a nightmare.
So again, we're on Baldwin Lake Road. We started on Shea Road when we came into this neighborhood, but Shea Road turns into Baldwin Lake Road. Look at how beautiful that is, my gosh. Just incredible. So if you turn right here at the stop sign and go about a quarter mile, you will be starting to go down the mountain. That way. You go up a little bit, but then you start going down. side. There's not much over here. You start going down the mountain, down the hill, not on a street, but just the mountain starts going down towards, uh, you, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Lucerne Valley, right over that hill right there. So we are at the very end of the beautiful valley. Very beautiful valley, I love it. you guys that's a peaceful place to have an Airbnb then you wrap this corner and you can see Bear Mountain to the left and Snow Summit to the right there straight ahead water left from last winter and our summer. But that whole prairie that we just drove around right there, Baldwin Lake, that, that, was, that was basically full for many months. It was just absolutely gorgeous. Properties coming up here on the right hand side tucked against these mountains on the Holcomb side I refer to th this side I'm pointing at as the Holcomb side 
And I refer to that as the snow summit side. So here come a couple of these cute little properties right here. before the storm as I said we did this half of town today and during the storms I get a lot more coverage just like I'm hoping we get a lot more snow coverage fingers crossed thanks again for supporting me you guys I appreciate it very much um, and oh the, the one of you who's still watching um, I also partnered up with a company called ski warrior for ski warrior goggles and these are the most insane goggles. They have walkie-talkie feature. They have a screen on them that shows you the weather. Like these things are insane and they're anti-fogging and stuff. It's crazy, crazy. So um, as soon as we go skiing, I will be showing you guys the Ski Warrior goggles. You guys will be impressed. I have never seen goggles this absolutely amazing. So I'm stoked that some of these companies want to partner up with me and uh, think I'm doing a good thing for the community. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for that. I will, oh, and I'll put a discount code so you guys can save a good amount of money. And uh, yeah, Ski Warrior goggles. But anyway, thanks again for everything. Hope you enjoyed the calm before the storm and hope you enjoyed MMA Hall of Fame ring announcer, Carlos Kramer. Um, you know, uh, you know, announcing me. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Thanks again for everything. And I'll see you at about six or seven in the morning. Love you guys. Bye.